What's going on everybody, this is Dilmer and welcome back to my channel and if you haven't watched my videos, welcome to you as well. In today's video we're going to be focusing on learning how to upload to the Oculus Quest Store. I'm going to show you the build process, what tools we need to add from the Oculus integration, how to set it up. I'm also going to show you how to upload it manually versus how to upload it from the command line. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer and start working on it. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my assets and if I go into my assets I'm going to just search for Oculus integration. If you want more details on how to set this up, you can watch my videos on Oculus integration as well. This is just going to assume that you have downloaded it already and you're going to import it. So I'm going to go ahead and just import it. Go ahead and hit import to get it into Unity. Okay, so we should be done with the Oculus integration. So you should see now an Oculus folder here. Also the Oculus project settings. And if you want to support hand tracking, you can also make sure that you have controllers and hands. I'm going to leave it at controllers because that's what my game it's going to be supporting. Then the next thing that we need to do is we're going to go into here and you can go into tools. And then you're going to see there's going to be a create store compatible Android manifest. And we need that because we're going to be uploading to the store. So we can just do that and then you can search for Android here. And it's going to show you that there is an Android manifest, the OVR submission. And basically that has everything that you need. Just make sure that it provides you with, you know, with the file like this. If you go into this one also, you're going to see that it says Quest and Quest 2. I'm not 100% sure which one is going to get used. What I know is when you archive it, I did it last time with these two and everything worked. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and check the build settings. I'm going to go into build settings, make sure that you have your scene that you're trying to build as, as check. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that you have Android as selected, go into player settings. We're going to go down here and I want to make sure that the scripting backend is going to be IL2CPP. The reason for that is because I'm going to do a 64-bit basically build and, and that way we can include both architectures. If you only do the V7, it's just going to be 32 bits and the developer store for Oculus is going to complain. So just make sure that you do this, you know, do it this way. That way you don't get those warnings and then your app doesn't get rejected because of that. And then a couple more settings. If we go into publishing settings, you're going to need to sign your app, right? So you need to basically create a basically a custom key store. So I'm just going to go ahead and create one. And it's going to tell me here to browse to one. I already have one, but I think I think I can just do we can just create one. Let's go ahead and do key store manager, key store, and I'm just going to create a new one. We can say let's go ahead and put in a dedicated location. I think I did one on my documents before and maybe I didn't, but that's okay. We can just put it there. And then this is, this can be just YouTube. We can just say YouTube video demo. I mean, it can just be called, in your case, it probably be called something else. But then I'll just put a password in here. Let me just do that. And then we can just add the key. And then when you add the key, it's going to tell you, you know, the key was created. You want to set this as your primary store. We'll just say yes. I think it's fine. And then basically once you do that, it's going to be signing your application. I'm also going to change the company name here. Just make sure you do, and then also the name is going to be XR Pack Zombie. So now we're we're going to be developing an application for Oculus, right? And that's what we're publishing. So you need to make sure you have the Oculus plugin provider enabled. That way we're going to be able to run it with Oculus. And I'm using Unity 2021.1.1 that one, that one F1. So I'm just going to enable that. I'm also going to enable it on the desktop so that we can run that with the Oculus link. Okay, so once that one is checked, let's go ahead and do the same thing on Windows. Looks like that one is already set to go. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go ahead and test it, make sure everything works. All right, let's try this out. So I'm going to go ahead and eat the hamburgers. Ah, oh, let me run. And the guy's running away, and now it's a zombie, and now it's following me. Ah. Anyways, this is how, this is how that application works. It's nothing, nothing really, nothing really complicated, other than they're just going and finding a path, and then after some seconds, it just basically just is going to try to eat me. Ah, but I didn't, I didn't call most of it, so it's just basically a prototype. So let's go ahead and jump in and try to upload the application now that this is ready to go. So now we know that everything is working. I'm going to go ahead and build it. So we're going to go into Android and make sure that everything here is being set, just like we did before. Go into build. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a folder that I'm going to basically have everything already set up to, to do that. And I'm just going to override this APK. It's under my builds folder. I'm going to say, yeah, I want to override it. Hit save. It's going to build it. And I'll start getting things set up so I can show you 
how to upload it. So it looks like the build completed. So now what you can do is, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can use the platform edit settings in here and basically log in and create your application through by clicking in here. What I'm gonna do is I just, you can just go to developer.oculus.com manage and it's gonna show you your applications. You can create it from here. I think I'd rather do that. You can do that and then it'll tell you what it's the name of the application. It's gonna say it's going to be XR Pack Zombie. I'll just call it two since I already did that. And then it's gonna tell you what platform you wanna do. I'm going to do App Lab, which is what we want to submit to. Go ahead and hit Create. So now once we're in here, we're gonna start populating, you know, different information about our build, right? So we'll need to provide it with images, also some information. So I'll go ahead and start with the build. So there's two ways that, that you can do this. You can do upload a new build here. And it also provides you with the command line tool in order for you to do it. So you can go here, and this is what I actually do. I actually did that. I downloaded the Windows 34 and 64 bit. If you're on a Mac OS, you can also do the Mac OS. And then basically walks you through everything, everything that you need to do. I'm gonna make it easier for you and actually show you what you need to do to do that. You can also do it this way. So if you wanted to, let's say that we wanted to upload it, this way you can just browse to your bill. We can go into shares, which is where I put my bills and then bill, and then double click it and then it'll basically upload it for you. But I wanna do it in a different way because I'm used to using the command line. So I'll show you how to do that in the command line. So in here, this is gonna be, you know, some description where you say this is a, te a test game for Oculus Quest 2 and a YouTube video to video, demo, something like that. Just copy that and then paste it here. I'm gonna paste it twice in the description so you guys can see it. And then optionals, looks like the app can be published through the app lab, can be discovered through search. Anyways, we're, we're, we won't do that. But you can put, you know, metadata, this is very common. We can just save. Then it's gonna ask you different things about your game. So it, mine is single user. And then supported controllers, I'm using the Oculus Touch, so I'll just put that. I'm actually using movement. And then it's gonna tell you what supported player player modes they are. I can use a seating, I can also use standing, I can also use room scale, so I'll just set all of those. And it doesn't require an internet connection, so I'll just say no. And external subscription is not required. We don't require anybody to pay for anything, and this is gonna be a game, so I'll just you know label it as a game. And we'll just say that it's an adventure game. And then I just for now just support English. And then additional details here, who is the publisher? I'll just say Delmer Games LC. And then we can just say that the website, well, no, that's actually my website, so I just, and then privacy policy, you you know, they require one. Let's just do a test, because we're not gonna be uploading this to App Lab. I'm just gonna show you the entire process. And then we'll also test it on my Oculus device, so that, because it basically shows you if you're the owner of this account. I'll show you how that works. And then external support link, if you had that. Terms of service is optional, so we'll just skip those two. We can hit save. And then assets, I already have a collection of assets in here that we can, we can use. And I basically have one for everything that it's asking for. And these are just all placeholders. You're gonna see that it says my game name goes here. And then if I look at the other ones, it's just different sizes for, I'm so used to uploading to the stores that this is kind of like, Something that I've done so many times because I release games for iOS. Okay, so I have all the images already populated so we can hit save and continue. And then I'm gonna make this bigger so you guys can see it. And then we have to provide content rating. So we can just do request new certificate and it's gonna ask you for an email. So I can just say this is going to be, we can just do info delmergames.com and then I'll just do the same thing here, request. It's gonna take you to this external website we can tell it what type of, of game we're building. And there's really no violence. There's nothing bad in the game. So it's gonna go ahead and say no to, you know, to everything. And no, no, but obviously if your game, you know, had any of these things, just make sure that you set the proper rating. That way we can, you know, protect users and they'll give you a rating just like the one that I'm showing you right now. Or just hit next. And then now that you've done that, you can close out of this and you're gonna see that it populates the content rating in here and we can save and continue. It's gonna take us to pricing. This is gonna be a free game. And then the last thing that it's going to ask you for is to build it, right? We need in order for, 
In order for us to do this, we need to actually create a bill. So I'm actually going to show you the manual way, and then we can do the automatic way. So let me do the manual way. That way you can see both. So on the manual way, you basically just you know go through and then select shares. In my case, it's going to be that, bills, and then I'll double click it. And it's going to tell you, OK, this is the APK. If everything works, it should be, you know, it shouldn't complain about anything. So it looks like everything worked. I was able to upload it successfully. I'm going to wait for the test status to finish. If you don't have any warnings, then your bill was OK. I've seen it where, you know, where you don't sign it or you have only the 32-bit that it'll complain. And then it also tells you here that, you know, the version that we have uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and save it as a draft. And if you go to Sugme, we could, you know, we'll wait for the testing to finish. But once that's done, you can just basically just submit it. So, but before we do that, I'm going to show you how we can do this through the command line. OK, so I have two command lines already opening here. And I already downloaded the OVR platform util, which is this one right here. So we can basically just go ahead and type it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into my utils. And this is where I put it. You don't necessarily need to put it there. And then it'll ask you for a command and then other parameters. So we're going to be uploading to Quest. So I'm just going to do upload Quest build. And this is all documented in their instructions. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste everything. So you'll need an app ID, which is what I'm providing. And you can get this app ID by going to your Manage Applications. You can also look at it in here. You can see Application. This is the ID of the application. You can get it from there. You can get it from here. You can also get it if you go back into Manage, and you're going to get it. You can get it from here. To get a token, you can go basically to your application and go to APIs. And then you can click on Generate Token. I already did that. And then you can just copy that, that ID and then paste it in there. So you're going to need a, you know, the app ID, then the APK, which is going to have the location of the APK, the channel. A store is going to be for anything that we upload to App Lab. So make sure that you put store. And then the token is going to be just you know, a launch string that is generated on the platform. I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. It's going to go through the exact same process that we looked at it on the web, except that this is going to be a lot faster than doing it through the GUI. So we'll just wait and make sure that everything got uploaded. OK, so it looks like the bill has been successfully uploaded. It's running validations and running tests. So if we go back in here and we look at everything that is happening, we can go back into the overview. It looks like we're running you know, version 1 in here. Let me go ahead and go back into the release channels. You can see release channels in there. We have two different builds. And that is true because we did upload. We can also go into builds here. And you can see that we have version 1. And we also uploaded version 2, which is the one that I uploaded through the command line. If we go into test details, it's basically you know, make sure that we don't have any malware. Make sure that there's no security you know, issues with it. So if everything works well, then we should be able to test it on the Oculus Quest. So I'll wait for that to finish, and then I'll show you how we can run it from the Oculus Quest. All right, guys, so I went back into overview, and it looks like everything completed. We can see test status. The, you know, the store build signing test was OK. I have a signature. There's no malware, security, vulnerability, which I can say that word. It, it passes, so everything works fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I see now on the device. OK, so now if we go to the device, how do we look at concepts, right, which is what I'm uploading. So if we go back into apps, the, the dashboard that I log in with Oculus is logging with the same user that I'm using here, which is my Dilmer account. And you can see that I can see you know, the application already under you know, all my apps. And if you go in here, and let's look at the details. I want to look at some of the metadata. And you can see the video. I just put a demo. We also get a App Lab available through, you know, avail available through App Lab, which is you know, the application that we just uploaded. You can see some of the placeholders that I had added. We can look at some of the summary information. This is the long description. This is the title. I name it too. I can also look at more info. So this is a rating, everything. You know, it's an app lab, it's a game, it's an adventure. Everything is working, and this is exciting. So well, now that we have that, we can now download it, right? And then we can play our own game, which is awesome. So we can submit it, test it, you know, make sure that everything works, and then even have a test group if we wanted to, and make sure those people can test it. Then you can submit it to App Lab. And then once it's in App Lab, everything, you know, everybody can access it in the world. And our game is live in the Oculus Quest for us to test for now. Then I can go ahead and hit Open. And if everything works, we should see the Unity logo, which we can see right now. And we should also see the game. So hopefully everything worked. And everything worked, right? We have the guy over there. We can get some hamburgers. 
And at some point he's going to try to kill me. Oh, no, don't come, don't come to me, no, no, no. And then, you know, it's, it's a very simple, <laughs> it's a very simple experience, but, you know, it basically proves the concept that we can build something really quick and then submit it to App Lab and then, you know, have a review. All right, guys, so everything worked, right? We have a game, so how do we submit it? So the last part that you would normally do is you can go into submission and everything says all items are ready to be submitted. Obviously, what I build is not a real game, so I really wouldn't want to submit it. I'm not saying that you can't submit a prototype. I'm just saying that I put too many placeholders for App Lab reviewers to basically pass. I wouldn't pass this because there's just, this is just placeholders, right? It's not a real game. But I'm going to show you how to do it, even though we're not going to submit it. It'll ask you, there's a couple more things in here that we need to do. So let's go ahead and click on Preferences. And oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ask you if you want to enable certain features. So we can just go ahead and I don't, I don't need to enable any features. We can hit Confirm. Everything looks good. We have our submit to store. You can also validate everything in here. And then just make sure that, you know, make sure that everything looks OK. And if you wanted to look at more, you know, if you want to have release notes as well, so there's something that you can put in here. This has new levels, you know, anything that you want to do there, then you can also, you can also do that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into overview, go into submission, and you can basically just, you know, start the submission. Another thing that you can also do that I didn't mention is you can look at uh, basically a preview of it before we go into the Oculus Quest. And it shows you that we can share it. It shows you that it supports, you know, the Quest, Quest 2, Oculus, Oculus Touch which is the controller, and then, you know, all the information that we put in there, including our website, it's all in there. I can also hit play. You can see a video of me, which is just a placeholder that I decided to put in there. So that's it. And then just hit submit, submit to the store. You can put an email here and you'll say info that And then any notes, you can say you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Don't do that. This is just I me. Mean, this is me for you know playing around with it. <laughs> and then submit, and then you're basically done. And there we go. We submitted our own application to the App Lab Store. So one of the last things that I wanted to mention, if we go back into basically builds, and even though some of these things pass and the test status was succeeded, it's really important that you look at their documentation, which I'm going to be linking in the description of this video that is going to it's going to basically walk you through some of the requirements that they will have in order for your app to get approval it has to be functional it has to you know it doesn't have to contain things that are gonna you know say anything that is that is bad for the community they won't approve right like there, there's certain type of games that they want to approve certain type of games that they wouldn't approve like things with gambling and you know and so on so Make sure that you read that because it's going to walk you through some of the requirements in order for you to get more chances of getting approved. So that's everything, guys. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it.